Hi there, and welcome to this talkative demo of the Mitel Contact Center integration. In this demo, we're going to be showing you how Talkative, which brings in video, chat, and co-browse interactions from the website, plus SMS and social media messaging interactions, how that looks inside of the Mitel Contact Center platform. In this window here, we're going to be an agent logged into Mitel Ignite, and this integration works on both the Mitel Contact Center business and MICC enterprise platforms. All talkative interactions are delivered via open media. And this open media delivery means that agents can have a blended workload of calls, emails, native interactions from Mitel in addition to the talkative interactions. So you can set up smart rules such as don't give the agent a voice call if they're handling a chat, but maybe they can handle up to two chats at once. Likewise, if they're on a call, maybe you can deliver them an email, but don't give them uh, a real-time chat or video interaction. From the customer side, the widget itself is highly customizable and configurable. So here we have different nudges. We can hide the chat widget if the queue is offline or based on certain pages. And in the widget itself, we can offer various different contact options. And here we have uh, the option to do a live video chat, uh, a web chat, or even an SMS option. We can display the average wait time that we retrieve from the contact center, and this will live update on the site. And you can even hide options based on the wait time or the size of the queue. So for example, if you experience a, a peak in traffic and customers are waiting 15, 20 minutes, you can automatically turn off the chat option on the site or present an alternative contact option to the customer. In this demo, we're gonna start off with a chat. In this case, we're going initially to a chat bot within the same chat widget that will be communicating with the agent. We can either click on buttons, we can either click on the suggestion chips or type out our question. We can also display different options based on the queue availability. So we might have a different welcome message if the underlying agent queue is offline or is busy. But in this case, we're going to be able to transfer to an agent who can help us with our query. We have the option of a pre-chat form before we start the interaction, but we can also programmatically collect the customer information through questions and answers in the chatbot. Once we've given our details, the interaction will be queued to the agent inside of Mitel. So I'm going to accept this interaction. This is updating my real-time status in Ignite. So as a supervisor, I can see this agent is now handling a chat interaction. And as an agent, I'm going to have my workload updated. So in this case, I'm not going to be able to take a call, but I can take up to two more chats at once. You can obviously see everything that's been said so far. And once we're in the chat, we have the option to use uh, shortcut messages, or we can obviously free type. The Talkative tool has a feature called Customer Message Preview. So as I'm typing out, the agent sees on the left a real-time preview of what's been set. The tool also features real-time translation. So if you have a customer coming in speaking a language other than English or the agent's native language, we can use the translate tool to translate the customer's messages back into English. The agent's messages are translated back out into the customer's language. And this works with both shortcut messages and free text entry. The Translate tool supports over 100 different languages and is based on the Google Translate API. The solution also supports credit card and long number masking to support a PCI compliant environment. So if the customer does type in their number, then this will be masked on both the agent and the customer side, and that credit card number never leaves the customer's browser. During the chat, the agent also has a few more tools at their disposal. 
we have this customer view tool which lets us see the current page the customer is on and this is a this is not sharing any sensitive information it's just rendering the current page inside of the uh, ignite system for the agent so if you've got uh, a large number of pages on your website perhaps it's a retail site or a used car website this feature is really useful just to see exactly what page that customer is on if we want a more granular view of the customer's history we can go into this customer journey overview page here in addition to the page view we can turn this chat interaction into a voice video and screen share session the way we do this is the agent offers an escalation into a video call to the customer who then accepts and this triggers a voice video and screen share session within the website itself this works on mobiles and desktops and tablets uh, and it's using WebRTC so there's no plugins or downloads for the customer or for the agent we have a virtual background here and either side can turn their microphone and camera on and off we're able to share our screen like so and we can choose which uh, inputs we're using on our machine we can still chat with the customer and the agent at the same time and for example in this case we're going to uh, screen share our tab out to the customer on the other side and then they can enlarge this if they want to get a better view so this is really useful for uh, troubleshooting customer through an application form or through a web portal equally for an agent to show a pdf or walk through a complex document all in real time um, and all recorded and stored within the contact center. At this point, we're going to end the video chat and we're going to end the chat session as well. We can leave feedback at the end of the interaction. This feedback can be customized. In this case, it's just thumbs up and thumbs down, but it can be a one to five star system and we can leave comments too. The customer can also get the chat transcript emailed to them. And when the agent finishes wrapping up, they have the option to block the user's connection if they're a time waster or a nuisance chatter. But when they close the chat down, they'll go back to being able to take the next interaction. From a reporting perspective, all of the talkative interactions are reported natively within MyTel. But we also have our own supervisor dashboard, which can be embedded into Ignite, like we see here. And this dashboard you can share with a URL, which here is embedded into Ignite. But you can also edit this to your heart's content with our supervisor dashboard editor. So if you wanted to look at the AHT over the last one hour, for example, you could do that here and that would update on your dashboard. From a historical analytics perspective, again, everything is stored within MyTel. And if you need to reference a specific interaction, you can click on the case history within MyTel. And here you can see the full transcript of what was said, including the sentiment score for the interaction and any uh, files that were shared and um, any feedback and interaction metadata as well. This can also be sent to your favorite CRM or to a data warehouse somewhere for data and reporting reconciliation, but it's all at your fingertips here inside of MyTel from a day-to-day. -day. In terms of the widget itself, we have a lot of control over how we customize and update this widget so in this case we've got a video that we've uploaded here we might want to change this text to be include video chats and then that will give us a live preview here we've included a link to a scheduled video chat session 
So in addition to real-time interactions, we can also let the customer schedule a call. So in this case, if we click video, it's going to start a video chat. If we click this button, it can take us to a booking page. When that booked interaction goes out, it will actually uh, set up a calendar invite for the customer and for the agent. And when the interaction comes in, it will be delivered to the agent's uh, WebIgnite platform. We've already shown video chat from the perspective of going from chat into video, but we can also do a direct video chat straight from the web page. And this is something we're seeing be really popular with retail sectors, as in addition to housing and repairs, where maybe we need to show a physical item or some damage and bring that into the contact center. So if we start a real-time video chat, so if we start a real-time video chat, When we accept the interaction, we can see ourselves here and see and hear the customer. And if we want, we can add chat into this interaction if we need to send messages or files or what have you. And again, from the customer's perspective, it's all in the same widget, which is neatly contained in your website uh, or mobile app. In addition to website messaging channels, we also have integrations into WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, SMS, and more. So in this case we're going to start a Facebook chat and this is going to be rooted into Mytel and managed in exactly the same way as a web chat. Here we've got the interaction coming into our Facebook queue so we immediately know it's from Messenger and we're pulling through the customer's name from their website channel. We can use our same shortcut messages which can obviously be tailored to specific cues and we can still use translate send images emojis gifs and so on and we can even offer a video call through facebook so the way the video works over these social channels is we send out a link to the customer at the moment uh, services such as whatsapp and facebook don't make their video calling API available to businesses, um, but we can still achieve the same outcome with this link-based video chat escalation. We can also apply our same chatbot and queue logic that we have through the web chat channel across these social channels. So we can offer, for example, an out of hours chatbot that does some data collection uh, over WhatsApp, but when you're in hours and when the queue is online, you can either have that same chatbot that hands off or routes through to a live agent. Video is not just limited to talkative channels. You can also video chat users over a phone call. The way this works is with Talkative's Chrome extension. So if you have an inbound call, then you can generate a new meeting room. So the way this works is you can either copy this link if you want to send it to a customer over email, but what's more likely is you are on the phone with them and you can send it to their uh, phone device. So the way this works is we send an invite to the customer like this, and then we just join the meeting room from our side. And when the customer accepts, we're joining into a video room as we've just seen throughout the demo.